week, guys. Uh, welcome to your love reading for um, Sagittarius. This is going to be for your November 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look at someone that you're in no contact with. We're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this person. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what will happen if you did have contact with this individual. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. It could be the person that you're in no contact with that's wondering this about you. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Sagittarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. All right, so Sagittarius, the person that Sagittarius is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Sagittarius to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with for um, November 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for um, Sagittarius, for Sagittarius here. Uh, I would say no, especially with the Empress in the reverse here. This person is very controlling, very smothering, okay? I do feel like you're dealing with a low vibrational empress here. Very needy, very codependent. And, you know, Sagittarius, that's not your jam. Because you guys tend to be very independent individuals. You guys love your freedom. You guys love your alone time here. And I just feel like you're not about to ruin that with this individual coming back around. I feel like this is you, uh, 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 the Emperor here, uh, Sagittarius. We have the Emperor, Aries energy, with the Three of Cups. Yeah, it seems like you're enjoying your life without this person here. Yeah, you just rather keep the situation. You rather keep the door closed on the situation here. Yeah, I, I just feel like this person would ke just kept keeping tabs on you. I feel like this person was like, even to the point that this person was, I would say, I mean, kind of psycho. Like, I feel like if you didn't text back with a certain amount of time or call back with a certain amount of time, this person will call you and bombard you with, like, millions of text messages, millions of calls. I mean, I'm exaggerating with the millions, but, you know, this person will keep doing it over and over again, bothering you until you picked up, you know? And this person doesn't really understand that. I feel like they don't have the awareness or the capacity to understand that, you know, sometimes you're busy at work, you know? You're hanging out with your friends. You're hanging out with your family. You know, you just can't get to the phone that quickly. You know, and people have to, yeah, people just, some people just don't really understand that. So I feel like you were starting to find this person really annoying with the Four of Wands and the Empress in the reverse. With the Seven of Wands and um, the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. So what I'm getting here is I feel like this person wants to fight for this connection here. But you know the thing is, Sagittarius, I feel like you know that this person's not the right person for you. Like I said, because this person's too needy. This person's too, too codependent. This person's like sh sh smothering you. Smothering you, okay? I do feel like you still have love for this person. But like I said, this person is not your jam here with the Ace of Cups. You rather move towards somebody new. You the, you rather move towards somebody that has that understanding that we can't be together 24-7. I can't talk to you all day long because you have things to do right so we have the hangman piscean energy yeah a lot of guys are focusing on your own pentacles right now but i do feel like whoever this is i do feel like this individual does want that does want to restart this connection here maybe there's something that you could offer this person that this person doesn't have themselves and they feel like it's important it's their own responsibility to find out on their own to heal the own insecurities to look deep within themselves and why those insecurities are there it seems like this person needs a lot of attention. This person needs a lot of reassurance. I just feel like almost like Sagittarius. I feel like you had these conversations over and over again with this person. And I feel like you got sick of repeating yourself. 
Y you know? So the tower, Aries Scorpio energy. I just feel like you're keeping the door closed on this. Uh, what will happen to Sagittarius had uh, no uh, contact with the person that they are in no contact with? What will happen if Sagittarius had contact with the person that they are in no contact with? For um, November 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius with a Seven of Pentacles here. It's not really going anywhere. Yeah, nothing's really changed. This person needs a lot of attention. Yeah, um, you know, I'm an Aries. You know, when someone, like, behaves like that, I tend to get scared. <laughs> you know, because I like my own space. I like my independence. I like my freedom, you know? I would like a day where I'm just, like, spending time alone or, you know, doing, you know, hanging out with friends or something like that. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person expects to be with you 24-7. And like I said, if you don't text back in a certain amount of time or ca a call back in a certain amount of time, this person bombards you like crazy. This person becomes incredibly paranoid. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups here. I'm also not going to lie because you don't give this person the attention that they're needing in that very moment. And, you know, they have other people that they talk to. You know, they have other people that they talk to or even hang out with. Yeah, we have Justice in the Six of Swords here. I feel like this is you. You know, I feel like, you know, you feel, you know, kind of like very balanced. Everything is smooth sailing since you've been in no contact with this person, Sagittarius. You've been really happy, okay? You're just trusting the universe that, you know, everything happens for a reason, okay? And that you're just, you know, waiting for the universe to deliver someone else to you. This is, yeah, yeah you're just realizing that this is not the person for you. Seven of Cups. Four of Pentacles, two of Pentacles, and the lovers here. If you do get back with this individual, if you do have contact with this individual, like I said, um, you know, I do feel like they're going to try, try and maintain a relationship with you, but they're definitely talking to other people here too. Yeah, they started talking to other people. And like I said, maybe they already had other people that they were talking to because uh, when you didn't give them attention, they were just like going, uh, you know, talking to other people. Yeah. They were talking to other people. Uh, the Two of Cups, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles here. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Seven of Pentacles here, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, uh, you might have someone that you're dealing with that's making, uh, that's, uh, you know, making you re very, very, very happy. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's understanding your needs. You're understanding their needs. It's kind of like a mutual thing because you guys are on, like, on the same page, Okay. But yeah, um, doesn't bode well with the other person that's trying to like, or that you're in no contact with. So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.